um, as I was saying earlier, in the Philippines, um, ever since I won a medal in Sydney in 2000, it, it actually started, you know, the it, it opened uh, the minds of some, not all, of course, very little, but um, comparing to 15 years ago, um, it is better now. Like, uh, there are more... The, the, the media is more interested. There's still there's still a lot of work to be done, really. But um, if I say we have we have went up um, one level up, yeah. and we hope to we hope to be able to do that. Um, I mean, slowly but surely, we'll we'll get the recognition uh, that that well disabled sports deserve. Especially yeah. I think in developing countries really. There are a lot of things to be to be addressed. Mm -hmm. Education, poverty, <coughs> livelihood, everything. And sometimes uh, sports will is taking back seat. Yeah. I so, just ask a question on that because I was quite interested because I thought on one level you might expect the medal table to reflect, you know, sort of GDP or something. So you'd have the you know, US would dominate. But actually it's a lot of Developing countries like China is doing so well in the medal table, and Ukraine, and some of the countries that do very well in the Paralympics are actually developing countries. So that's, that was that was struck me as quite interesting. Yeah, uh, for China, of course, they have a lot of. Um, we 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 I I did ask around about you know how their chair their sports program is for yeah. for persons with disabilities, and uh, in China they do have a very strong. They have a good program yeah. for for disabled sports, and mm. maybe that's the reason. Mm. And I, I am not sure about the Ukraine and other, no, no, no. other. But uh, for example, for uh, in Nigeria though, um, I know that they have also because in in two thousand they did not get the support, though. and in Athens they only got uh, a small. Said they also did not perform well. And then in Beijing, they had. Oh, well, that's maybe it, yeah. And now they had very good support, yeah. um, where they, they, the government really yeah. gave them full support. But of course, the government also expects them to have medals. <laughs> <laughs> so another question is about just your experience of being in London, really, and how how have you found being in London um, over this time, and how does it compare with being in the Philippines? Uh, I don't think there's comparison, <laughs> of course. Um, London is, the London ex experience has been really, really great. Uh, people have been so friendly. And it it is actually, um, how do I say, it? forgive me, but I have to f look for them. It, I've, I've read that people, Londoners or people from London are kind of, uh, Reserved. Uh, reserve, yeah. Mm. That's the right word. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, reserve maybe is the better word. But, but you see, um, I, I mean, it's, it's been the reverse actually. They've been so friendly, so helpful, mm. and just very nice people. And I don't know if it's because it's the Paralympics. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe yes. they've been fantastic. Yeah. But uh, really, I've, I, I've met a lot. Uh, and and they're all from, you know, around here, and they're all very nice. Accessibility-wise, mm. perfect, cannot say anything. Yeah. Lift here, if there's a stair, you know very well that there's a lift. Mm. And then yesterday, I took the uh, the tube yeah. Yeah, yeah. alone, wow. and uh, I was able to, to do it. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> but, then, but then again, but then again, uh, Comparing to the Philippines, you were asking as compared to the Philippines. Here they have signs everywhere. In the Philippines, when you go, uh, not, not so much signs. Yeah. So you'll surely get lost. <laughs> but here, I, I was able to find my way. Good. Um, one of the other questions that came in was about you representing your country. So it is a big responsibility. Um, do you still feel very nervous about it, or do you feel quite motivated when you are? considering the, the, the magnitude of what you're doing? Both. Mm. Both. Because I know that as an athlete, and uh, I, I know that there are people who are looking up to me, and I cannot just, you know, I cannot just do anything. I want. There, there's a responsibility that comes with it, right? So, um, 
I, I know how, I, I also am the, I have to be able to say and to, to get across the message to people that, you know, I think it cuts across all the other concerns for, for, I have, I, I, this is really a privilege and an opportunity for me to be able to speak for the disabled sector in our country. Mm. And, you know, uh, equality and all those things that we are, we are fighting for is, yeah, is, it is a chance for me to, to, to get the message across. Do you think that, um, for the Philippines that, um, disabled sport is sort of a lot more on the radar these days. You mentioned about how it's sort of progressed and that it's a, oh, yeah, you know, it's a bit of a journey. Um, how large was your team that came out with you? Uh, we are nine athletes uh, in to London. And before, uh, there used to be just two or three. Wow. Yeah, so this is really, this is really the biggest uh, team to the Paralympic Games. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And it's really hard to compete in the Paralympic Games because you cannot, not anybody, any, everybody can just compete. You have to qualify. Yes. And in order to qualify, you have to go around, the, you know, do the qualifying competition. Mm -hmm. So, and we're really just glad that we are nine. When is your next competition? The next competition, uh, the international one, would probably be on next year, mm -hmm. uh, February in Dubai. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, Myanmar on this in December, also next year, and then the Korea. Oh, there's also the Malaysian Paralympic Powerlifting Open, okay. yeah, and the Asian Games in Korea. But uh, in between those are local competitions. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it doesn't let up for you. No, <laughs> there's a cycle. Much so. Yeah, yeah. So, and what do you do on your time off? I am. Um, actually managing an NGO, a small uh, wheelchair manufacturing company in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I think that kind of covers um, most of our questions. There is one question though, um, that's quite an interesting one I think, um, is what, what you hope to do when you finish competing? I hope to be able to become a coach. Mm -hmm. Because since as an athlete, um, especially, well, especially during this competition, um, I know that my coach is probably planning to retire, and um, as an athlete, I, I, I don't know, but there's this, you have to have a certain, of course, a coach and an athlete to, to have to have a rapport, no? and uh, I think that um, as an athlete who's been competing, I, I, I will be able to be, I can be a good coach. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thank you for Adeline for that. Thank um, you. I know everybody is really pleased to meet you eventually. Yeah. yeah, so I just want to take this opportunity to thank everyone. I know how the, the support has been really overwhelming, heartwarming, heart touching. So, and I don't want to cry, but really, thank you so much. <laughs>